So three different scenarios, three ways of dealing with this aggravating elbow that goes into the thigh. Some people in the last video said that it's okay to do. We have to agree to disagree on that one. Scenario one, our partner is in place here. We look to get our grip, pull, push, catch, and finish with the triangle. Scenario two, we control our partner's wrists, they're floating. We bring our partner forward, pull, push. Now from here we catch. If you wanna gain a collar tie because you feel like your partner is posturing, that's also fine. Make your adjustments here. Our final situation is one where our partner's hands are more committed. We take inside thumbs. We move our partner's hands slightly to the outside here, and then we bring our knees forward so that we can pass our partner's inside elbow across the center line. Switch off, adjust your hips, and now from here, you're ready to come up and start to look to take your partner's back. You have a new person who's looking to pass your closed guard and they're digging their elbows into your inner thighs in the hopes of finding some kind of pressure point pain release, and then you'll open your guard, and then from there, they can go ahead and grind their knees into other parts of your body and find elbows where they can, you know, find, find places where they can, they can drive their elbows into soft tissue. All that good stuff. Previous edition was with the gi, and one of the advantages of the gi is you've got some handles, but people were asking, well, what do you do no gi? The answer is similar. However, we're in a situation no gi here, and one of the things about this position, so just demonstrate quickly, please. Yeah, come on, like, dig your elbows in. Yeah, kind of grind them in there. Yeah, like this. And it's uncomfortable when I open the bar. He never does this, so he's, yeah, he's not familiar with the technique. When the person brings their elbows to the inside, so sometimes they do one elbow, you know, one hand's like posted here, the other one is the elbow digging, okay? And sometimes they put both elbows in. The thing with Nogi is that often he does this from good posture, so his head is pretty upright. And in the previous situation, we looked at controlling our partner's collar and drawing them in, but when your partner's not wearing a gi, sometimes it's more difficult. So what will we do in this case? Well, the first thing we'll do is, if we feel like our partner has a forearm down and then one elbow is digging, instead of reaching up to control our partner's posture here at the collar, we're simply gonna control our partner's wrist, the wrist of the digging elbow, and the wrist of the post arm. And we're gonna create an action where we pull forward the straight arm, and we push the other arm. At the same time, we bring our knees to our chest. So I'm gonna push, pull to slide this forward, and then I'm gonna bring my knees in a little bit here. So I wanna get his head over the line of my hips. Right now, he's kinda of leaning back. I wanna bring him to this position. Now from here, I've brought his head low enough so that I can split and catch. Move the arm off to the side, create an angle, and your trying is available, okay? So when your partner's like posting and digging, we go grip around the wrist, grip around the wrist, pull, push, and then we bring our knees forward. So out of this broken position now, we can cast our legs up. The goal is to get your hip up to your partner's armpit and then you can move and adjust. If you feel like your partner's posture is too high, sometimes this doesn't make sense, right? So sometimes it's like, I just feel like I'm not gonna be able to bring him forward, he's, he's locked in here. Okay, in a case like this, or when he's got both elbows on the inside here digging, you know, this happens also. We're gonna focus on drawing our partner forwards here because both of these hands are committed. So when he's committed here and he's really, really digging, I'm gonna draw him forward with my knees, bring him forward and put his hands on my chest here. So instead of digging all the way up with good posture, now even if he's digging, he's gonna be digging much more closely to me. And we'll choose a wrist. In this case, it's gonna be his right wrist. I've got my hand, uh, hand over it. And I'll switch now to the collar tie. As he goes to adjust his posture here, I'm pushing, split, and now we'll catch here the triangle again. You can adjust and make your fixes from there. His elbows are inside. We'll hold the wrists and we'll bring our knees to our chest to tilt his head forward. Now we can take the collar tie. We can punch one hand low, do the splits, and catch. Here's our initial trap triangle. We'll scoop, create an angle, and finish with the figure four. The third one is not a triangle at all. But it's what happens when your partner is digging their elbows in, their hands are in, they're resting here, and you feel like you're, you're not able to dislodge them. Okay, you can't bring them forward, you can't take a collar tie, even their wrists, it's a little bit hard for you to, to move them. In a case like this, we're gonna take our thumbs under our partner's wrists here. I'm gonna give a little bump with the idea, so go like be active here, like digging hard. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, give a little bump here, and we're gonna misdirect. So we are gonna bring our knees to our chest, but we're gonna move our partner's hands slightly out to the side. 
So although we haven't really adjusted his elbows, uh, like we haven't taken care of like the problem of the dig, we're just moving the elbows across the center line. We'll do a pass off. So the left hand passes to the right. And now we'll use our knees to draw our partner forward. There's back exposure. You're gonna create a scissoring action with your legs, move around behind your partner, relock, and from here, you're ready to start to go to the tack. If your partner stays here, fine, you're gonna heist up. Now from here, we're in a position where we can start to look to control our partner's back. Elbows are in, hands are here, we can't dislodge our partner. We're gonna go inside thumb. We're gonna give a little bump so we create a bit of kazushi to get our partner out of balance, and then we misdirect. So we bridge and we move these hands off. So even if his elbows are solid here, we're using a combination of the misdirection from the inside position with our thumbs and the drawing forward of our knees. The left hand is holding his wrist. We wanna keep the elbow across the center line so we do a pass off, one, two. This is a stiff arm. When he goes to bring this arm back, we control our partner's posture using the closed guard, our knees coming forward. We hit a scissor and now we're here off to the back and we're ready to begin to attack here. If your partner stays down here, you can start to look to work from here. If your partner goes to posture, you'll simply keep your head above their head, hand goes to the floor, invert this knee, and now from here, hooks go in and we're back into our, uh, onto our attack and ready to rock. So three scenarios, recap. Scenario one, our partner is in place here. We look to get our grip, pull, push, catch, and finish with the triangle. Scenario two, we control our partner's wrists, they're floating. We bring our partner forward, pull, push. Now from here we catch. If you wanna gain a collar tie because you feel like your partner is posturing, that's also fine. Make your adjustments here. Our final situation is one where our partner's hands are more committed. We take inside thumbs, we give a bump, we move our partner's hands slightly to the outside, here, and then we bring our knees forward so that we can pass our partner's inside elbow across the center line. Switch off, adjust your hips, and now from here, you're ready to come up and start to look to take your partner's back. So three different scenarios, three ways of dealing with this aggravating elbow that goes into the thigh. Some people in the last video said that it's okay to do. We have to agree to disagree on that one. So hopefully this was helpful for you, and we'll see you soon.